What is going on guys, Mr. The Reverts here and today we have a little bit of a change up for the 2019 competitive season for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and I think some of the new roles and other updates we got today are pretty cool and I think it's going to bring in a new batch of fans to the competitive COD scene. Now guys, today was the official esports reveal event for the Black Ops 4 season and probably the biggest change up that happened today was instead of having a team of 4, it has now been bumped up to 5 so every competitive team out there that hasn't already is going to look into adding one more player into the roster which is going to make these next few weeks of roster mania until Black Ops 4 comes out very very entertaining. Um, roster mania for those of you who may not follow Comp Cod, basically it's just where players either leave or sign with a new team kind of like how in sports where your favorite player from your hometown may leave to play for a different team an example I guess would be LeBron leaving the Cavaliers this offseason to play for the Lakers it's kind of similar in that regard but just with an esports team but again every team is gonna have to sign one more player which is a very very smart move by Treyarch because it does kind of bridge the gap a little bit between the competitive players and the regular casual players um, because the the casual players, they aren't playing the same rule set as the competitive players. They almost are playing a totally different game. So one of Treyarch's main goals for this season is to bridge the gap between pubs and pros. And also they said here, we want more people to watch. We want to make the game more relatable. And that right there is what I have been waiting to hear for many, many years now. I feel that competitive COD again is a different game. Thus casual players are not going to want to tune in and see this, especially certain weapons you know maybe banned and uh, some perks may be banned as well so they're gonna say hey why is this banned why uh, why is this perk banned I don't want to watch this some of the best things some of the most fun things in the game are, are gone I want to know why I, I, I don't get it so I don't know in that regard it does kind of drive a huge untapped portion away but Treyarch again is looking to tap into that portion they're looking to bridge the gap between pub lobbies and pro rules which is a very very smart move Next up here, we are going to be taking a look at this new playlist called Pro Series. And within Pro Series, you play with the CWO rules, team format, and game types. Basically, Pro Series allows you to play the same thing as the pro players are. And also, you can form your own team roster and scrim against other teams in this playlist where you could possibly win in-game prizes and recognition in weekend events. This sounds amazing, guys. So, you and your team of five can enter in tournaments or participate in the weekend events in order to win in-game prizes this is absolutely amazing and again this is another tool Treyarch has created to help casual players out with getting started in the competitive scene since you can earn in-game items and uh, show off your character very very cool stuff here and I think I'm gonna be grinding that pro series a lot this year next up here for league play events this is a three-day limited but intense format where players are gonna be assigned to a league play ladder and after their first First win in league play, players are going to compete as a team in the team ladders or as solos against other solo players in a solo ladder. And if you win, then you get ladder points. If you lose, then you're going to lose points. And whoever has the most points at the end of the event is going to take first place. And then also here they say there's going to be a league play event once a week or once every two weeks. So league play is going to be more to those uh, hardcore Call of Duty players and wins are going to have more meaning in them in league play because you know you're playing the best of the best in these lobbies and again this is all very cool very exciting stuff here and a track is doing just everything right so far with the competitive events but there's one more event here called gauntlet events and gauntlet is a limited time event where players play a series of consecutive matches to maximize wins to compete in gauntlet reach a certain number of wins before hitting a certain number of losses each loss counts as a strike and players who accumulate too many strikes will have to start the gauntlet over over. The best part of completing a gauntlet will grant players special in-game rewards to show off their victory. The gauntlet is designed to be more accessible and digestible competitive style of play that's easy for every player to understand. Uh, so gauntlet events is also going to be another tool for Trek to use in order to have the casual players kind of get used to the competitive scene. And, and this is what I love guys. I love that you can earn some in-game items and, and in-game recognition uh, with your character by playing in these events. By participating in these events and winning them so pretty cool stuff here and uh, next up they talk about the clans and teams so they say though you may play as a lone wolf you'll want to form a team and play
play together to get the best out of the competitive experience. Competitive teams are set up and managed through our clan feature. Within a clan, players can create a team of up to seven members, allowing players to compete with a fixed roster, but with the flexibility to sub out team members as needed to accommodate different schedules. Clans support up to 100 players, and players within clans may become a member of up to three teams, allowing even more flexibility to play together. Teams have a name, emblem, and their own homepage in the clan headquarters to easily gather and play together. This is amazing, guys. Like, this is pretty much the Call of Duty Elite kind of, but within the game. Hopefully they do have their own website. I think that would really be like next level stuff here, but uh, we're going to have to wait and see what happens. But again, like I said, you will be playing the best of the best here, and you will get rewarded accordingly within these modes to show off. Gauntlet is kind of more towards the casual players, but still nonetheless, you are going to be playing the best of the best in Call of Duty, and you will be challenged, you will be pushed to perform to the best of your abilities if you guys want to read more about the cwl stuff i'm going to throw some links down below to you know break all that information down for you guys but the main focus of this video are those new competitive game modes because i've always been a big big supporter of competitive cod i feel that it's going to be the future for the franchise and, and just the future of gaming i think competitive cod is going to take off but what's been holding it back for so many years now is that bridge between the pro rules and the casual pub rules so hopefully this year it, it's not going to be too too different but still uh, just balance is the word I'm looking for I guess. I love watching and playing competitive Call of Duty. I think it's one of the most fun games to play competitively. So yeah today was a very good day but the only thing I would have loved is if Vaughn and Bunting announced something for Blackout Man. Um, but I think there is going to be some kind of a pro event or just in general some kind of a Blackout event for, for the Battle Royale mode with like a bunch of streamers, YouTubers, pro players, and celebrities all playing together in this one Battle Royale game. Uh, kind Kind of like how at E3 with the Fortnite tournament or the recent Summer Skirmish, I think Blackout is going to have its own spin, but I don't know. We're going to see what happens, guys, later on. But tell me down below your thoughts about all of this, guys. Also, drop a like if y'all did enjoy, and thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.